Well, I we're in the same university club, and and you are here. That's that's a, that's a police badge, isn't it? You're a detective. Yes, and I'll be taking notes on what I hear from all of you. Old Nintendo Gamer. And son. Hello and welcome back to Makoto Wakaido's Case Files. Yes, we've gone through the executioner linchpin. We've finished the bogeyman's woods in two parts. We had an extended episode for the phantom's foot. So that was all finished in one. And we're moving on to whatever this is. It says new game, the Weeping Hand Manor. Uh, this is me, old Nintendo gamer, by the way. And new game. It, it feels like this is another case file, yet these are numbered. One, two, three. This one is not numbered. I'm wondering if this is actually a case file, or is it like picture files or anything like that. But it looks more substantial by the way it's loading in here. Let's, uh, let's hope it's another case, and uh, I can split this into a number of um, episodes if it's a long one. Ooh. 2032. Watch your step. There are broken branches scattered everywhere. With this wind, you could even get hit by one. I wouldn't be surprised. Sorry about this. You came all the way to Kamoyangagi. Kamoyanagi. Damn, I need to read better. Kamoyagi Manor, and here I am. Taking you on this dreadful walk. Yeah, don't worry, I wouldn't let you get out all alone in this weather. Having a police officer as a guest makes me feel more than safe despite the storm. <laughs> oh, he walks like he talks, actually. Yes, yes, yes. Lift. Oh, it's a drawbridge. I'm afraid it won't budge. And this drawbridge is the only way back to the city. It is. You can't go anywhere there without crossing it. I see, so we are stuck here. There's no point staying in this dangerous a place. Let's head back to the manor. Right, so we came out in the rain as a exposition for the story to say we're stuck. What a night! The only thing that's missing is the ghost! I don't believe in ghosts. Uh, what ghost? Yeah, please wait here while I go and get you a towel. Oh, thank you. And let me make you some coffee too. I need to thank you for coming with me in some way. Looks like he's wearing slippers, isn't it? Slippers in the rain. Thank you, uh, Hakababunko, uh, Hakababunko Studios Games. A blackout. Oh dear. Hmm. Oh, did that sound come from the well? Yeah, must be the ghost. Oh, well, whoever this is. Hide your hands, don't touch the well. <laughs> I saw something running past like a rat or something. At time about 8.40, the man is shouting in darkness, perhaps we've angered the well ghost. Oh, is it uh, Sadako, whatever her name is. Sayadako. Everyone calm down. Wait, where are you, please? Oh, I'll go to the boiler room and turn on the emergency generator. In the meantime, please don't move. I'll come with... Yeah, thank you again. Uh, by the way, just someone just now shouted, Hide your hands. What was all that about? Yeah, you, know, you don't know the rumors about the manor, do you? Enlighten me. Well, the manor's real name is Kamoyanagi. The Willow Duck, but it has a nickname. The Weeping Hand Manor. Lovely. It is a full-blown investigative. The, the, the graphics, the, the, the visuals seem chunkier than before. The Weeping Hand Manor. Makoto Wakaido's case files. This should be number four. Ooh, the lights come back on. Marvelous. Marvelous blue light. 
<laughs> what was that scream? I think it came from the well room. I'll go there and I'll check out the dining hall. Oh dear. 8.48 p.m. Well room. It's got a well in a room. Amazing. Look for clues in the prologue. Yeah, is everything all right? <laughs> well, Jesus. I'm Wakaido. Are you, are you there? You heard? I'm fine. But he, Satoguchi, is. Uh, what do you know about him? Please tell me as much as you can. His name is Satoguchi. He's a friend of mine. Is he it's supposed to be a fun trip between club members? How did it come to this? Satoguchi. Is that Satoguchi's blood? You aren't hurt, are you? I'm not sure. Since it was so dark, I bumped into someone, I think. And when the lights came back on, he was there, covered in blood. It's, it's not mine. Blood is the victim's. I need a few more details on what happened. I'm sorry. Could you give me a minute? I'm, I'm a bit shook up right now. I'm all shook up. And by the way, who are you? Yes, I was going to say that. Actually, I'm a detective. I hope I can help out somehow. I'm in the right place at the right time. Huh? I see. You could try asking those two over there. They're club members too. So they should be able to tell you more about Satoguchi. Uh, thank you. I will do that. So this is this is uh, much more like a murder mystery where instead of um, mystery, I'm not going to even look at your body yet. I'm not even going to look at the open window. There's two more people here to talk to before we even get that. Let's get the background. Uh, yeah, this we don't have to talk to police in the beginning. It's not a crime scene. Well, it is a crime scene, but it's not cordoned off. Zomi, what happened? Are you all right? Can I ask you a few questions? Are you friends with that girl by the well? Well, we're in the same university club, and, and you are? Here. That's, that's, a, that's a police badge, isn't it? You're a detective. Yes, and I'll be taking notes on what I hear from all of you. Okay. Now that I'm writing down my findings, I could try raising what I just learned to talk to her again. I will, but I want to talk to this guy first. I should start by speaking with the two girls standing around the well. They could be involved in this, right? Well, maybe that boy could be as well. Blood is the victim's. Uh, mind if I ask you a couple more questions? Are you hurt? No, I'm fine. But I'm worried about Sadaguchi and Izumi. Are they okay? Well, you could go and walk up and talk to them. Uh, mind if I ask you a couple more questions? I've heard that the poor lad's name is Sadaguchi. Is that correct? Yes, Atsumi Satoguchi. He's a member of our university club. And may I ask what your name is and the other girls too? Oh, I, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Aikidi. Aikeda. 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 That girl there, that's another club member, is Izumi. And did you notice anything strange about Sataguchi today? Uh, someone tried to get to him or anything like that? Of course not. First off, most of us were in the dining hall when the lights went out. Wait, when, when did that window open? Whoever did this must have snuck in from there. I noticed the window. To stop um, giving me a little information. Ah, uh, Sataguchi, are you alright? Oh, uh, Sataguchi's awake. I need to check the victim. Let's see. Sataguchi, can you hear me? Why do you look at all this blood in the wound, huh? He has no wound on his torso. Uh, 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 he's still alive and he's clenching his hand way too hard. Could it be... His fingers are missing. His right hand and his pinky fingers. His right ring and pinky fingers. He's lost two of his fingers. were cut off. I need to find them. No, we have to stop the blood loss first. Bleeding from hand, not torso. Okay. So,
Sorry, pal. Let me take a peek at those wounds before we get you all fixed up. Uh, uh. Relatively clean cuts. The fingers were likely severed with a blade of some kind. Uh, something to do with the well. Fingers are clear cut. I might have asked you a couple more questions, miss. All that blood from Sadaguchi lost, it came from his hand. You, you can't be serious again. Why? Again? Now the storm's still going on strong. Even the floor's wet with the rain that blew in from here. It's all muddy outside, but I can't see any footsteps. Why is this window open, then? Maybe someone wanted to make it look like an outsider did this. That would mean that they didn't know about the drawbridge being stuck. By that reasoning, the culprit must still be inside the manor. Or there's somebody outside. But then, yeah, there was no... Let's um, go and talk to... Her... I need you, answer, you to answer a few more questions, please, ma'am. Was the window already open when you entered the room? No, it wasn't. Uh, but right after the lights went out, I heard the sound of someone opening it. Would you happen to know if it was locked? I don't know, sorry. And it's possible that the culprit came in through there. I don't quite think so. I'd need uh, you to answer a few more questions. Uh, Sadaguchi is holding his torso, but the wound is on his hand, right at the base of his fingers. So he just cut his hand, that's it? Not uh, quite, he's missing two fingers. We need to find them and close the wounds. What? No way! I have to find Sadaguchi's fingers, his right ring finger and pinky fingers. Two missing fingers. I found a new lead. Right, and maybe the boy's got it. Sadaguchi, you okay? I've checked the wound already. Who else can I talk to? Uh, blood is the victims. I can talk to Sadaguchi. Look around. Uh, there aren't many blood traces around the room. He's probably wounded right here where he's lying down. He probably won't like this, but I have to check those wounds. I did, didn't I? Uh, there aren't many blood... Oh, right, okay. All right. I think I need to only one more is talk to this guy. Oh, the mystery man's finally made his appearance. Mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Excuse me, I didn't catch your name. What? So you're a cop. I thought you were also here to see the master in the manor. My name's Akuma. I'm researching paranormal phenomena with my colleague. <laughs> uh, let me the uh, let me check that well out. Uh, did you happen to see where Sadaguchi's fingers went? You mean that kid really got his fingers bitten off by the ghost? What what ghost? His fingers were likely cut with a blade of some. I'm sorry for him, but uh, you won't find his fingers anywhere since the ghost ate them. More importantly, I need to ask him what he saw. Uh, always people thinking there's ghosts. Let's talk to him about the rumors of the ghost then. Uh, what's this ghost you're talking about? A violent spirit that bites off the fingers of those who place their hands on the edge of the well. You better be careful too. It's probably a, a chopper. Man, I'm so envious. I really need to ask the kid the details of what happened to him during the blackout. Uh, you spoke of a master of the manor. I'm assuming you're not talking about the manager. Are you serious? Why would you stay here if you don't even know about that? I was looking for a quiet place to spend a couple of days off, and my boss suggested this manor. Really? Of all the places, this manor comes with a free evil ghost. The master of the manor is what we call it. Well, the master of the manor is the name of the ghost I think I can now deduce while looking at this nutter. Right. 
nice prologue. Time to put together all the info I got. I came to the Weeping Hand Manor for some peace and quiet. There was a blackout, and soon enough, someone's hand was weeping. With all that blood, I assumed he got stabbed in the torso, but the only wounds I could find were on his hand. And he's not going to die from that, but I still have to get to the bottom of what happened during the blackout. First of all, who got his fingers severed? Sataguchi! Right, his name is Sataguchi, and he's one of the guests staying in Atsuki Sataguchi, to be absolutely precise. He's staying at the manor. Another guest, Okuma, reached the well room after hearing a noise. He looked positively thrilled. This Okuma uh, person has no doubts about who got Sataguchi's fingers. That someone or something allegedly bites off the fingers of those who touch the edge of the well. Who or what allegedly got Sataguchi's fingers? A ghost. Right, a ghost that bites off the fingers of those who touch the edge of the well. Go and touch the edge of the well. I'm going to look, my fingers are fine. <laughs> I'm not trying to disprove ghosts or anything, but this story doesn't match with what I've seen. Sadaguchi's hand didn't look like the fingers had been bit off. Judging by his wounds and by the situation, whoever did this used a weapon. What did Sadaguchi's wounds look like? My fingers were clear cut. Right, his fingers were cut off with some sort of sharp blade. Maybe the teeth are sharp blades, as sharp as knives. Uh, Izumi, Izumi stated that she hear the window open when the lights were out. However, there were no traces outside. It's so muddy that it would be impossible to walk there without leaving any. I must assume that the culprit who didn't know about the drawbridge being stuck tried to make it look like an outsider did it. What well, does tell me about the real culprit? Uh, the culprit's still inside. Alright, this would mean that the culprit is still inside the manor. Unless they just left through the front door. But we'll work on your assumption that one of these kids is the culprit. I scrapped the info I'm not going to need anymore, and I don't have a single clue as to who did it, but it's safe to say that some kind of cutting weapon was involved. I need to question the people in the manor while keeping an eye out for any blades. I think you should search down the well as well. It's a nice place to drop fingers. Dining hall. Chapter 1. Investigate bladed weapons. Uh, the table and chairs are old but well cared for. Not a single wrinkle on the tablecloth either. Uh, it's old but well cared for. Uh, there's a piece of paper with something written on the back. What's this? Looks like the manor's floor plans. Nice. This will come in handy as I explore the rest of the manor. I found a new location. Good. Right then, I've forgotten your name. Ikeda. Ikeda. Hey, Ikeda. How's Sataguchi doing? He's calmed down a bit, but his Izumi is still there with him. I came here to explain the situation to the others. Oh, well, there's others. How oh, is Sataguchi holding up? I'm guessing he's barely hanging in there after losing two whole fingers. Oh, about that. Actually, he was missing a pinky to begin with. Lost in some kind of accident as a child, I think. Ah. Oh. So he's only lost one finger this time. I mean only. I'm not trying to make light of it. Ah. He'd already lost a finger, eh? Uh, may I ask you a couple of questions? Which means that whoever attacked him just got his right ring finger. Yes, that, that would be correct, so um, I guess it's true. Oh, what are you talking about? You know, the rumors. The ones about the ghost that lives in the well and bites off your fingers. Well, actually, he only got one finger bitten off, so it's not fingers. Now, who the hell are you? S uh, so detective, huh? How convenient is that? I clearly have some supernatural being looking out for me. Uh, may I ask you your name? Of course, Numata. And you're all part of a club researching paranormal phenomena. Or so I hear. What exactly do you guys do? Paranormal phenomena, please. We are not chasing unicorns. 
What we study is the energy left by human presence. Prove it. That energy collects in certain places, such as the one you can find in this manor. I am talking about the well room, obviously. Can you measure this energy? Because all energies can be measured. Oh, you can't. So, uh, long story short, uh, you're here to see a ghost, right? It's not about seeing it. They say that if you star into the well, you will be able to consult the dead. Oh, God. Is everybody... Is everybody crazy? Who are you? Uh, you're from the same club as Izumi, right? Correct? Yeah, I am. And I know about you from Ikeda, by the way. She told me you're a detective. Uh, may I ask you what your name is? It's Kawabe. Uh, someone attacked Sak Sataguchi aiming for his hand. Did Sataguchi seem worried or scared about something before this happened? Not really. He just joined our club, so the whole point of this outing was for us to get to know each other better. That and taking Izumi's mind off things. Right, what's, um, what's Izumi got to take her mind off of? Why did your club choose to visit this place? Half for fun, half as a club activity. To put it simply, our club is about investigating the paranormal. Have you found anything? <laughs> if I just said it was for fun, Numata would be fuming. He even got mad when I threw a coin in the well earlier. Uh, that young man over there, that's Numata. What did uh, Izumi and... Uh, what about Izumi and Sataguchi? Did they go to their rooms on the second floor? Yeah. Izumi is treating Sataguchi's wounds. I told her to take it easy. Uh, but she insisted, saying that it was all her fault. The manager also gave him some over-the-counter painkillers. He is hoping that they do something. Uh, do you have time for a few questions, Kawabe? Uh, if that well is dangerous, why do people go out of their way to visit this place? Some people are just looking for a thrill, I guess. Others believe that it can get your wishes granted and whatnot. So good things might come out of that well too. I tried throwing in the coin earlier. I've also heard people say that drinking this water will can grant you spiritual powers. Oh god. Huh? I didn't know that the water was drinkable. Anything's drinkable if you're brave enough. <laughs> As for me, I'll pass. Oops, sorry, I pressed pressed the wrong button. Saw that one already. X anymore. I need to go and talk to why Sataguchi was excited. Uh, may I ask you a couple of questions, ma'am? Uh, according to Kawabe, Sataguchi was particularly excited about this club's outing. Kawabe, that guy, he convinced that Sataguchi and Izumi have a thing for each other. Mind you, Sataguchi only joined our club recently. I guess we'll see. Since the two of them are all alone now, not to say I have left them there on purpose or anything. What can you tell me about things between Sataguchi and Izumi? This could be relevant to the case at hand. Can't even the police leave those two alone? There's no romance going on between them, trust me. It's Kawabe who's got a crush on Izumi. He thinks we don't know, but it's clear as day. He's always been looking for her. Yeah. There's a bit of a jealousy going on here. Right, I think... I can leave the dining hall unless there's something... Oh, there's something over here. Well, there's a tray and a water bottle on the counter. I can see the kitchen behind the counter. And please don't enter the kitchen. If you need anything, just ring the bell on the counter. Signed, the manager. Can I ring the bell on the counter then? Hooray! There's nothing I can do in this room anymore. So now I can actually... Oh my goodness me. Leave. I wish... Kitchen. Let's go in the kitchen. I'm a detective. He's going to go, Don't go in the kitchen. Uh, 
There's a nice pot, microwave, and a knife stand with no empty slots. Hmm. Let's go and talk to him. He's actually got... Ooh! Hello? Uh, uh, hello? You must be exhausted. Oh, me and you both, huh? Well, the guest told me that this place is known for being haunted by a ghost. Is that so? What? You didn't know? I assumed you came here because of that. I started hearing creepy rumors from the guests a few years about after I bought this place. Eventually, that became what most guests came here for, and uh, now the place is known as the Weeping Hand Manor. Maybe it's you chopping their hands off to get people excited. What were those rumors about? Uh, the room you saw yourself earlier, the one with the well. They say there's a ghost living inside of it. Although, to be honest, I think my guests know more about that story than I do. And may I ask you a couple more questions, sir? Word on the street is that this man as well is haunted, am I right? What a reputation, huh? But then again, people come all the way here because of that. And once they come, do they do anything with the well, I mean? Oh, I hear the splashing sounds. Believe it or not, the guests make wishes and throw coins into the well. It's common enough of an occurrence that I started thinking of it as a piggy bank. <laughs> oh, so you empty the well. Ah, very nice. How often do you empty it? Once a year? Right, I've got nothing else to ask him. There's a safe here. There's a combination zero, zero, zero. Yeah, it's a small box with a lock. The yeah, label reads Blade Safekeeping. I have found a new law, new thing, and surely I can ask him about the locked box. I can. May I ask you a couple more questions, sir? Is that locked box for the guest blades? I remember being asked if I had any knives on me when I checked in. That's correct. Wait, wait, you have a knife on you? Oh no, I was just wondering. Why be so careful? Any bad precedent? Well, it's ancient past now, but back in the day, a guest cut off another, and, and that's why we have this rule now. Ah, before you ask, whatever cut Mr. Sataguchi's hand didn't come from there, I checked. Ah, uh, but can I trust you? Right, so there's a rule about blades. I'm already... Trash divided into burnable and recyclable. Nothing out of the ordinary. Okay. Uh, let's leave the kitchen for now. And go back in here, the dining room. We'll go, hey, if, it, if it's... Oh. Uh, do you have any time for a few questions, Numata? Uh, rumors I heard say that a dead here are more interested in finger-biting than in consultations. Well, when I heard that, I assumed it was just another silly tale. I tell what happened to Satoguchi, that is. We will find out all the truth. I told him to lock himself into his room, and then we get a duplicate key from the manager. Why would you ask him to lock himself in the room? You're afraid the ghost is going to come after him again, right? That is information about the ghost. There's nothing else I can do in this room. Uh, let's go to here, entrance. I'm just going to pop around and check all the places for now. Oh my god, I can go all the way out here. Now, oh, when the wind's this strong, you still get wet, roof or no roof. It's so wet, the mud got all the way to the door. Right, so I can't do anything there. It's all about mud going to the door, so there are no muddy footprints apart from now, my muddy footprints. Right, nothing in there. Let's go here, whatever this is, the first floor hallway. Uh, 
Oh, the floor is pretty clean. Yeah, this must be the entrance to the dining hall. The map shows the door to the well room right in front of it, but it's actually to the side one a little bit. And the room next to the well room is a guest room. It says room 111 here. And it looks like there's only one guest room on this floor. The door at the end of the hallway should lead to the boiler room. Ah. Ah, the rain keeps knocking on the glass door. The entrance is only getting stronger. And the room in front of the stairs should be the well room. I'll be walking down that way, okay. I can't see inside from here, but I can feel how humid the air is coming out. It could be the rain's fault. Right, and I think that is that little corridor there. We can go in the well room. Wish the names were on the rooms before, right? What is this sign? A uh, sign pointing to the well looks like some kind of tourist attraction. I can barely see the water in it, either because the room is lit so poorly or because the well is just too deep. I could try throwing something in to see how deep it is. Yeah, it looks like it's pretty deep, all right. <laughs> the rain got in, now even the walls and the floor are wet. Close the window, then. A uh, grown man should be able to get through it when it's fully open, although it wouldn't make a comfortable exit. Maybe someone did it and then went out the window. Close the window. There's nothing else in here, in this well room, so we are going upstairs, and I think after going upstairs we're coming to the hallway, second floor hallway now. There's always a bunch of people in the hallway. And the door plate reads room 333. Three on the second floor. Uh, may I have a few words with you? As you please, just know that I don't have the slightest clue about what happened. Your name is... Yagi, my pleasure. Are you here by yourself? No, nope, I'm with that man over there, his name is Ukuma. We're traveling the country looking for spiritually charged places. Spiritually charged places like uh, shrines, temples, that kind of thing? No, it's too, yes. Uh, as, as there are supernatural rumors about them. We find out why people go there to, to turn that into articles. So you and your colleagues write articles about, excuse me, is there something wrong? You look a little bit distracted. Oh, it's nothing. That person over there has just caught my attention, that's all. Uh, the person who caught your attention is that man with a beanie. Shh! What if he hears you and comes over here? Guy muttering by himself like that could only mean trouble. Uh, do you know anything about the manor's ghost? I've read up about it before coming here, but right now, that beanie guy, he's been possessed. I mean, he looks it, I guess. He could be on drugs. And uh, why is that? Oh, you're not just laughing me off. That's not a reaction I usually get. It's just, look, he's speaking to himself. The things he's saying sound unhinged. It's scary, but I'd like to take a better look. Uh, just don't overdo it, all right? It's... Oh, those people who believe in ghosts, eh? Everything is a ghost, and nothing else is the truth. Right, uh, Akuma. Uh, thank you for your help earlier, Akuma. I've forgotten Akuma's voice now. Oh, no problem! Uh, he's gonna be deep American like this. 
You're here with someone, I take it. Work partners? Whoa, Yagi, oh, that wimp isn't much for helping the front. Uh, but when he's around, you can always count on strange stuff happening. That's why I bring him along with me. Could you elaborate on what you mean by strange stuff? Supernatural stuff, of course. Can't be much of a supernatural report if I don't get strange photos and at least an audio recording. Uh, so your job is visiting places where paranormal events have taken place and investigating those rumors. Yep, and that's why I got, got to see the well as soon as possible. I know you got your job too, but I'd appreciate it if you could hurry it up a bit. My God, you cheeky son of a gun. Uh, do you have any time for a couple of questions? Uh, the people who come to stay here, I'm assuming most of them are looking for the supernatural, just like you, right? Nowadays, most likely. Uh, like these kids in the dining room, I even saw one of them throw a coin down the darn well. You say, nowadays, I take, take it things used to be different in the past. Probably, yeah. And you see that guy muttering to himself back there? He could uh, sure do without any ghosts, tell you that much. It's always rumors. Talk. Right, and I need to... There was something that guy... There it is. Rumors about a ghost. Let's go and see what's on this door. Is it 222? And this door plate reads room 444. Ah, the number of the devil. I know 666 is the number of the devil, but um, we're not doing that. A piece of paper that says do not enter. Guests can't walk into the storage room or the linen closet, huh? Raiden, who the hell are you? Are you staying here as a guest too? He <laughs> was there. He was, was from the well. He finally came. May I ask you what your name is? My, my name? Yeah, yeah. What, what, what was my name? Are you looking for paranormal phenomena too? The ghost? Hey, there's legs. Two dead does <laughs> I saw it myself. <laughs> He's a witness. Uh, excuse the blunt question, but where were you doing the blackout that took place around 840? I didn't go in... Inside the well room, you mean? No, nope, I in in the forbidden room. It was it, I, I was in my room, but, but but the thing is, in the forbidden room, it's not there anymore. Are you here looking for paranormal? Oh, I did this. Now the ghost has legs. He 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 he. The forbidden room. What forbidden room? Is there really such a room here? You can't go in there. Even if you do, there's nothing left to light up anymore. Light up as in. Candles, incense, or it's a storage room for that kind of thing, right? I wish I could enjoy some of that again. <laughs> Why do you know about the manor's ghost? I could use some more details about it. Yeah, I'm all out. If if you want to see, you get your own, or beg the manager for some. Oh, he's giving drugs out. What are you talking about? He's giving out hallucinogens. That cheapskate, I know he's loaded. He's just pretending he doesn't have any. Any... Any poppers, any pills, any marijuana, any hallucinogenic mushrooms. Um, right, that's the hallway. That was an extensive hallway. Let's go into this room first. The regular's room. Ah. Oh. Uh, what's that smell? Don't, 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 don't you step in my room, you thief. I, I don't have any left for you. Hey, get lost. <laughs> Alright, he's hiding. Some sort of drugs. Room 333 for women. And it's locked. Alright, so 333 is locked. Uh, room 444 for the men. And there's a woman in the men's room. My god, what's going on here? And there's a first aid kit on here. Are 
Are you feeling all right, Izumi? Yes. You should probably get some rest too. During the blackout, you and Sadaguchi were in the well room. Was there anyone else there? Someone walked in after the two of us did. Who's that? Could it be Akuma, the man that was there at the scene? No, that can't be him. As soon as the lights came back up, I saw the man leave right before noticing Sadaguchi covered in blood. Do you remember anything about the man you saw? He was tall, and I think he was wearing a long coat. Tall man in a long coat. How are you doing, Sadaguchi, with your fingers chopped off? How are you doing, Sadaguchi? <laughs> Uh, please, no need to get up. You better not exert yourself. Uh, did you see or hear anything during the blackout? Okay, can't say I did. It was, it was pitch black. And Zumi mentioned having hearing the sound of a window being opened. Any clue as to what that was? Uh, it was a window open. I had doubled over in pain, so I'm not sure, but I, I did hear it too. When you went to the well room, was it just the two of you, you and Izumi? Yes. Since everyone insisted we go alone, they probably figured out they were doing me a favor. A favor? I will deduce very shortly, but I want to see what's in here as well. Take a peek. It's full of clothes and other personal stuff all arranged neatly. Um, I do want to talk about Sadaguchi's fingers, though. Being as I can. Excuse me, Izumi. Did Sadaguchi get his wound treated? Well, we got a first aid kit from the manager and we did what we could with that, but we still need to get him to a hospital as soon as possible. Did uh, Sadaguchi say anything while you were treating him? Not really, but the manager did. None of the blades are missing, he said. Uh, he's got something to hide, the manager. So the manager checked some blades and reported that none of them were missing. I rushed to the second floor as soon as he gave us the first aid kit, so I'm not sure. But I saw him check some kind of lock box. Right, she's pointing me in the direction of something I already know. And that is it. Let's deduce what the hell is going on in chapter one. Here's my deductions. Time to put together all the info I got. There's something unique about this manor, specifically its reputation. However, its reputation has nothing to do with the quality of the lodging or the food it serves. It's all about rumors of a ghost that supposedly dwells here. Guests from near and far come to visit for that very reason. And what kind of guests does the manor attract? They come for the rumors. Right. The guests who come here are people who have heard about the rumors regarding the ghost in the well. Let's move on to the next um, deduction. Now, the well room is where the spooky rumors about the Weeping Hand Manor originate from. An indoor well must be suggestive enough to pique the interest of fans and researchers of the paranormal. They all speak of the ghost in the well, some even throw coins in. What's the well room to them? Well room is haunted. Right, the well room is what the ghostly rumors talk about, so it's the main reason they come to the manor. So every now and again, someone does need to lose their fingers, or the rumors will die down. Now, I have been able to confirm my thoughts about something. The idea going around seemed to be that a ghost bit off Sataguchi's finger. But he had a clean, sharp wound, so we can rule out any ghost antics. And these blades are what confirm my suspicions. I hope the ghosts have touch. Um, the manager keeps everyone's blades to prevent the old cutting incident from happening again. Now, the manager has a rule in place that relates to this. It's the rule about blades. Alright, since the an old incident took place, scissors, box cutters, and other blades must be given to the manager for safekeeping. Doesn't mean that people give them. You can ask for them. If someone's gonna cut your fingers off, they're gonna keep it secretly, aren't they? 
Aside from the rumored ghost, we have someone else at the manor to aim our suspicions at. That someone was in the well room with Izumi and Sadaguchi, assuming that person was a guest we still haven't met. If that's the culprit behind Sadaguchi's weeping hand, that means that the manor is still unsafe. What do we know about this person witnessed by Izumi? It's a tall man in a long coat. It's me. Right, however, I still have no clue about his identity. Right, that's chapter one done. I scrapped the info I'm not going to need anymore. The rumors about the ghost are what brings the guests in, but the culprit I'm looking for is no ghost. Now that I have information on an actual suspect, I should go and question him. Hopefully I'll also find out his motive. It's raining. Oh, it's 12 minutes past 10. Two hours have passed, roughly, since uh, I first arrived here and with the drawbridge, and an hour and a half since the finger-chopping incident. Give me a break! One blackout after another! At least it should stop soon, since the manager said he was going to go into the boiler room again. I wonder how Zoomy's doing. I'll go to the second floor and check. Uh-oh, someone else is going to lose their fingers. Are you serious, Kawabe? That's too dangerous. What are you thinking? Then I'll go to the well room. What happens with you people? Didn't you see what happened to Sataguchi? Ah, uh, you can't sound scarier than any ghost. Fine, I'll stay here like a good boy. Ah, and, oh, I knew it. The metal banner is haunted. This blackout is a sign of its rage. Yes, a blackout is a sign of a ghost, yes. Oh, by the way, we had a blackout yesterday. Right now, let me sip some coffee and finish it. There's a ghost in my apartment block. Has it sure taking long enough? Uh, are, the, are the lights coming back up? Has it really been that long? There we are. The lights are back on. Oh, there you go. <laughs> what was that? It came from the second floor. Is Kawabe okay? Okuma! Yeah, is everyone all right? There, there was a voice from the second floor right now. I'll go check. You stay put. Hey, Mario. How are you doing? Sorry for taking so long. Did anybody hear themselves? Stay here and keep an eye open, please. Uh, it's got to be the manager who's trying to drum up some more business. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just turning up after. Oh, he's been knocked out by the looks of it. 1025, the regular's room. Find out what happened in the dark. He's not breathing. I can't see any wounds to speak of, but he's definitely dead. Oh, my God, there's a murder now. What happened here? I need to collect information from everyone, starting from who's still here. All right, let me go and collect information first, then I'll look at the body. Are you the one who found the regular's body? Yeah, 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 I, I, I kind of screamed. Oh, whatever, what's his voice? I, I, I kind of I screamed at him. I, I didn't think he was dead. Oh, whatever, I just saw that one. Uh, why are you in this room? Wasn't it locked? I, I, I just wanted to check something, and, and it wasn't locked. Hmm. Highly suspicious, man. Now the air here is permeated with a thick, unnatural smell. The room's messy, but probably just from a lack of cleaning. Doesn't look like anyone's rummaged through it. With as strong of a smell, it's a safe bet the windows in this room are closed shut. Just what happened in here? A small plastic baggie next to a pillow with traces of white powder inside. Of course there is. That's all I can find. I'm talking about cocaine? No, they don't seem jacked up on cocaine. And heroin? There's an empty glass that looks like it's from the dining hall. And then there's an incense plate with some ash on it that probably explains the smell. Right then. Time to... 
Examine the body, I think. He's not breathing. Definitely dead. No wounds, but the look of pain on the deceased's face. There's also some foam dripping from his mouth. Oh. And uh, you seem to be scratch marks on his neck. Did he asphyxiate? Um. What's the smell coming out of his mouth? It smells kind of sweet. Ah, uh, you know what? Uh, tastes like almonds. Arsenic. Wait, it could just be the whole room reeking of incense. Right, it looks like I can't do anything else in this room. Time to, um... Go down here, I suppose. The forbidden room. And it's locked. I can't get in here right now. Right, that's gonna be having some uh, secrets like he's making. Making some drugs on site. Oh, it's, 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 it's... Oh no, it's a sad one. Oh, it's locked. Sadaguchi's already gone to bed. I see, I'll let him rest for now. Hmm. So we can't get in Sadaguchi's room. This is the women's room. Izumi, may I? Yes? Uh, the man as regular guest is dead. I would like to know where you were around the time of the blackout. D -d dead But wh why What happened? Oh, we don't know yet. I was hoping you had seen or heard something since you were on the same floor. If, if that was around the blackout around 8.30, was it? I talked to Sat Sataguchi for a bit and went back to my room to rest. What you said about the regular, is it true? Did he really die? I didn't hear any screaming or anything during the blackout. Did you hear or see anything while in your room? Right after getting back to my room, I heard someone walking towards the end of the hallway while talking to himself. Oh, that's a crazy guy. I think it was the regular, to be honest. That man's kind of scary, so I didn't open the door to check. Uh, the end of the hallway. Well, why would a guest go there? Uh, there's one room there, a locked one. I think I heard someone call it the Forbidden Room. Um, manager, what is in the Forbidden Room? I'm a police detective. Open that door right now before I kick it down. Alright, he's not going to show me anything. Um, oh, wait there, wait there. Wait. Oh, no, no, no. Let's go back downstairs for now. Um, let's go back to the well room. <laughs> well, well, well. Oh, it's a bucket. I can't pull it up. It must be broken. Who knows how long it's been like this. Did this get wet from the rain? No, it's blood. But it can't be Sataguchi's. His blood is already starting to dry up. This is fresh new blood. Ooh. Interesting. New fresh blood on the well. Any new um, footprints? Uh, the rain's so strong that the ground looks like a swamp. Close the bloody window. So we got fresh blood. Let's go in the dining room. There are people in there. Uh, may I? Yes. Oh, we found the regular dead in his room. R really? Now was, was he killed? Some of my friends are on the second floor. Are they all right? Uh, please calm down. There was no sign of a struggle in his room, so we can't say whether it was an accident or murder or suicide. As of now, nobody else was hurt. Were you, all of you in the dining room since before the blackout? Yes, yes, the manager made us coffee and we, we were drinking it. 
And did anyone else enter or exit the hall at that time? Sadaguchi passed by to get a glass of water, and then the thin one from that pair of writers put on his coat and left. Then there was a guy with a beanie, the regular, I think people call him. He left before the manager did. Oh, wait there, eh? that thin, tall guy. Is he the one? Yeah. Oh, one more thing. During the back out, Kawabe went to the second floor. I told him it was dangerous, but he wouldn't listen. Oh, yeah. He did. He most certainly did. Yeah, sorry to bother you again. What rumors do you know about the man as well? Are they related to the ghost that allegedly lives in there? Yes, but there are a bunch of different stories about it. In, in theory, our club is here to find out which one says the truth. She talks like this. Personally, I'm more interested in finding out why they call the place the Weeping Hand Manor. Uh, sorry to bother you again. I heard that Sadaguchi was particularly excited about this club's outing of yours. Like, like, oh, oh that, uh, yes. People were saying that Sadaguchi is into, into Izumi, and he'd take the chance to ask her out. Me, I, I don't see it. He's even, he even told me that he's not interested in Izumi, romantically. He said she's special to him, but in a different way. It's brother and sister. So, uh, Sadaguchi said that Izumi is special to him. Special how? Since she joined the club, he's always been looking out for her, worried about her troubles. He wants to help her. For now, now, life. People have been telling him he's helping others. Takes courage. I Izumi is lucky to have someone to care about her that much. Alright, let's go and talk to this guy. May I? Oh, detective. We found the regular dead in his room on the second floor. What? Is that what that voice was? I just told the girl sitting next to you. You deaf? During the blackout, that was Okuma. He, f he found the body and let out a scream like a big girl. I don't need to ask everybody about who or what they were doing around the time of the blackout. Please understand. Still here in the dining room, huh? Why aren't you going back to your rooms? Well, we won't be going back there until it's time to sleep. We... Wouldn't want to wake up Sataguchi without talking. Speaking of uh, Sataguchi, is it safe for him to be all by himself? We told him to lock himself in just in case. We got a spare room, uh, room, spare room from the manager, spare key from the manager, so we can go back later. And you were all here with the manager earlier, right? Yes, up until the blackout, he made coffee for three of us. I see. Then the manager left, I guess nature called, and after that, the while the lights went out, and he called us to us from the hallway. Told us to wait here while he took care of the blackout. Hmm. Was this club trip Sataguchi's idea? Yes, even, even though we still don't know the whole of it. As in... As in we were actually supposed to be doing here. If you see the ghost in the well, we should probably perform some kind of ritual. But only Sataguchi knows the details. He's keeping all the info to himself, even though he's new to the club. <laughs> right, I've asked him everything. Um, I can't deduce anything yet. Let's go back into the kitchen. There's a couple of people in the kitchen. How far am I off? Oh, 4 to 14. My God. Let's talk to the manager. Now we need to talk. It's important. What will happen? I went to check the second floor to figure out what the scream we heard was. And what was it? What happened there? Your regular guest was found dead inside his room. What? You can't be serious, ah? Uh, so, what's this blackout here? What, what exactly do you mean by background? You're the one who knows the most about the regular here, right? Was he sick? Any problem of the sort? I see what you mean. However, I've never heard anything about any indices from him. He's clearly got schizophrenia. Or he's high on drugs all the time. Oops. What's this? It's a knife set, and the knives all look seem to be here. Mm -hmm. 
All, all in position. Yagi, may I? Uh, we found the regular dead in his room. Oh, what? You're joking, right? Uh, dead? The regular? Uh, Kuma was the one who found him. Oh, Kuma. So, so, so that was his voice I heard in the hallway. Oh, but, but, but why him? The regular was found in his room, right? Why would Akuma be in there? They didn't even know each other. He's trying to buy some drugs. And around ten past ten, when the second blackout happened, you were in the dining hall, correct? But, but what if I, I... I was. A couple of these kids were there, too. Akuma wasn't, though. You said you saw Sataguchi and the regular in the hallway. What were they talking about? I mean, in, in, in a way, yes, but it was more like the regular followed that Sadaguchi kid from behind. The kid was holding a glass from his wounded hand, so I figured that the regular was worried that he'd drop it or something. I wonder if he had in his mind on that glass or on Sadaguchi himself. Any more information, Yagi? Nope, nothing from you. I want... I want to go inside that box. Oh, a blade box. Well, whatever, I found a new lead. Yeah, but I, I saw the blade box before, so... There's a label on it, it reads Blade Safekeeping. It doesn't look like anyone opened it, but I better check about his contents with the manager just in case. I checked before. I just checked these bins. Is there anything in the bins? Open. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Right now, I can probably talk about the blade box to both of them, eh? Uh, Yagi, may I? Uh, when you first reached the manor, were you asked to... Where you asked to leave all blades to the manager? I was. Uh, what are you trying to imply? I'm not lying. And did you actually have any blades on you at the time? We, we did. I had a pair of scissors and Akuma had a box cutter. Why do you carry a box cutter to a... to a... to a hotel? Uh, may I? Just to make sure, can you tell me about how you use that safekeeping box for blades again? It's... It's where I store scissors and other bladed possessions from the guests when they check into the manor. You can also read the red room yourself. I wonder if it'd be possible for me to take a look inside it. Oh, I'll just give you the key. I know I can trust you. You're a detective after all. Hey, you got the blade box key. All right, let's go on. Try the blade box. Manager, it's empty. Uh, there's a blade on, blade safekeeping. It doesn't look like anyone, but check its contents. Uh, oh, all right, I gotta use the key like a piece of evidence, okay. There's a list taped under the lid. Yagi, scissors, Akuma, box cutter, Numata, scissors. All the stuff on the list is still in there. No blades are missing. Right, okay. So the manager was not lying. Uh, any of the blades? Alright, so no blades missing. We found that piece of evidence. Uh, let's go into this room. Oh, the well room. I came in there, didn't I? Uh, where are we going? Back outside isn't struggling to find evidence in this chapter. Nine out of fourteen, though. We're still coming out here to look at this. Ah, yeah, there's still enough of a storm to make you weep. And the ground isn't paved, but there's a little pathway going from the manor's entrance to the gate. You couldn't take a single step through this mud without leaving a print, and I see no prints. Alright, that was worth checking. There's no footprints outside. Well, there's mine now. Um, see? It's well worth going outside. Just to see that exact point that I checked earlier. Right into the hallway. Someone's in the hallway. Whoa, who's he? Uh, Kida and Numata are having coffee. Tall man. Excuse me. Uh, you're the guest from room 111, correct? Yeah. 
I've been holed up this whole time. Things seem to be wild out there. What happened? Well, we found out one of the men's regular guests died dead in his room. I'm trying to find out what happened to him. You look awfully collective for someone who's just seen a dead person. I've learned how to keep my cool at times like these by... Away, may I ask you your name? Uh, sure, I'm... Uh, Mitarai. Mitarai. Your room is the closest one to the well. Did you see anything out of the ordinary around the time of the blackout? I didn't see much of anything since I was in my room. But now that you mention it, my room is indeed the closest one to the well. That must be why it's so damp. Now well, there's the well room, then room 111, where you're staying, and then the boiler room, all connected through the hallway. And I get to enjoy the noise of all the people passing by make, not to mention... Ooh, the dining room hall is so close to. Oh, incidentally, I heard someone running in the hallway. And when will that be? Right after the blackout, if I recall correctly. The sounds move from the end of the hallway down the other way. As if someone was running away from the boiler room to the well room then. Running in the wrong way though. Ever seen a tall man in a long coat? Oh, it's you. Uh, may I... Were you in the well room during the first blackout when Sadaguchi was wounded? He already said he was in his room. The first blackout? That was around, what, 840? Then yes, I'd just gotten there. And as soon as the lights went out, I, I got scared and went back to my room. Why would you get scared? Because I hear someone scream. I didn't leave my room since. As for the second blackout, it was in my room the whole time. I'm not sure anyone can prove that, though. Could I, uh, check your hands? May I, uh... What happened to your hand? All those bandages. Did you hurt yourself? Oh, it's just one cut. But it... Didn't have any bandages large enough, so I had to use these little ones, and now it looks worse than it is. Alright, okay, Mr. Creepy Man. Now well, the doorknob is wet. The rain also got in and on the floor. Alright, where are we going? Can I deduce anything? How many... Oops, sorry. 11 to 14. Three more bits of bobs to do. Can I get into your room? No, the well room. Can I get into room 111? I can't. I've been there, been there. What's in here? Let's go back in the well room. Man. Well, well, well. Uh, right, I've seen that. The bucket on the edge. The window. And nothing else. Damn it. Um, been there, been there, been... What's... Can I... I can't get in the forbidden room. Hey, you got a key, though. Mm-hmm. Ah, it's locked. I can't get in here right now. Thank you, Makoto. Let's go back to the men's room. It's going to be locked, isn't it? Can I talk to you? Oh, I almost laughed. Sadaguchi's gone, ready to go to bed. I see I'll rest for now. Don't don't walk away because I can talk to that boy, uh, which I think I don't think I've talked to him since he's outside. I can hear sounds coming from in there. Zumi must be inside. How are you doing? Uh, weren't you in the dining hall talking with the other club members? Huh? I came here to check on Izumi, but her room was locked, and then the lights came back up. Ah, forget about that. What happened in the regular's room? I saw that writer guy walk into it. By the way, what are you doing out here? Can't you go in? Huh? Oh, thing is, Sadaguchi fell asleep. I forgot that I'd given Numata my key, and now here I am locked out. Ha ha ha. Why don't you go... Uh, 
a regular. We found him dead in his room. Ah! Oh, oh, I see. Is there something you know about this? Me? No. No, not at all. Hmm. Highly suspicious there, young chap. Ah, uh, there's a map of the area around the manor inside the drawer. There's a map of the area, look down. There's something on the floor, dead leaf. What's it doing in here? Did the wind blow it in? Well, why would anyone keep the window open with a weather like this? There's a window open downstairs. Uh, it smells sweet, it looks like. It's not just a simple dead leaf after all. It's, mad. it's probably been dried up on purpose to be burned as incense or smoked. Right. I exactly know what's in the forbidden room. You're growing stuff, man. Um, can I deduce? Or do I need one more clue? One more clue. Um, Oop. I can ask her about the man as regular, can I? Lovely. Uh, so, excuse me. Do you know anything about the man as regular guests? Not, not at all. I heard him talk to himself in the hallway. Yeah, what was he talking about? Not having enough of something, and that something being too weak medicine, perhaps, since he sounds so troubled. Yeah, he's... Right, I think it's time to go and see the manager, but I don't think he'll be, um... Manager, you, uh, let me into the forbidden room, please? Oops, I'm not pressing... Oh, damn. I'm going back to the kitchen again. This is definitely going to be a two-parter. Ah, room 444, spare key, of course. Um, then I need to go into the dining hall. And I think there's some info I've looked overlooked here. There is. Uh, there's coffee, but the place is empty. Oh, there's a hung coat. Damn. And there's a coat hanging from a chair. It's dripping water on the floor. Whose coat is this? How could I... Un how could I... How could I... Sorry to bother you again. Where do you happen to know whose coat this is? The one on the chair. Hmm? Oh, oh it's the one from one of those two writers. Why was his name again? You know, the wimpy one. He should be in the kitchen with the manager right now. Marvelous. But I'm not going to deduce yet because... I need to ask him about the spare key as well. Sorry to bother you again. Uh, Kawabe was left to wait in front of a locked door and guessing you're the other one who's keeping the spare key. Oh, that could... Wait, wait, which pocket did I... Huh? Oh, no, wait a second. I gave it to Kawabe while he, we were having coffee. He's the one who has it. That guy, I swear. Ah, the spare key is missing now, is it? Right, and let's go back to the kitchen very quickly. Hey, Yagi. May I? Uh, does that coat in the dining hall belong to you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yes, yes, it's mine. Yeah, it looks wet. Did you go outdoors? Okuma told me to go and see the well room from the outside. But the ground was all muddy, and I knew I'd get soaked as soon as I left the entrance. So I immediately went back in, but more importantly, I saw it. A man wearing a long coat, actually a ghost wearing a long coat. Where are you saying that? 
Hate to break it to you, detective, but this case will probably stay unsolved. We're dealing with a ghost here. Did you see anyone in the hallway or near the entrance while you were leaving the dining hall? I just saw the kid who had his hand cut walking in the hallway and the regular folk following him. Time to deduce something then. Uh, time to put together all the info I got. There was another blackout and it came with a surprise. As the manager turned the lights back on, someone on the second floor screamed. I reached the floor and saw that the door to one of the guest rooms, the one belonging to the manor's regular guest, was open. Inside I found a clearly distressed Okuma. But there was someone else in the room. Right, the regular guest was there lying down dead with a tortured expression on his face. While I was doing the rounds through the manor to question everyone, I met someone. He was a tall man with a long coat that I heard about. This man who introduced himself as Mitarai, Mitarai allegedly kept his guest room room 111, that's why I hadn't seen him yet. He also was in his room during the blackout and he said that right then he heard a noise. What noise did Mitarai hear after the blackout? Running footsteps. Right, someone was running, but I don't know who it was. I need to find out more, seeing how this could be linked to the regular's death. But I have one more piece of evidence potentially related to the man's mysterious demise. I found it in the well room, specifically on the edge of the well. There were bloodstains there, the ones from Sadaguchi's wounded hand. But those bloodstains were already starting to dry out, which tells me that the evidence I found was more recent. What did I find in the well room? More blood. Right, fresh blood spilled down during the second blackout. I also have some more information on the regular. While she was alone in room 333, Izumi heard a voice coming down the hallway. The regulars. According to Izumi, the voice moved past 333 into the back end of the hallway. This gives me a hint as to where the regular was headed. There's only one possibility. Forbidden room. Right, now I have to establish where the regular really went into that room. This will require some more investigation. Yay, and as soon as it saves, we're gonna quit out and scrap the info I'm not gonna need anymore. This death is strange in more than one way. I don't know the cause of death, and I can't even imagine why he died, where and when he did. I'll have to make sure of where everyone was leading up to the blackout. Ten, 50, uh, 10 to 11 in the evening, dining hall. And it's saved. We're into chapter 3, and we will be starting chapter 3 in the next part of Makoto Wakaida's case files. And this is the fourth one of those split into hopefully two episodes, maybe three if it carries on. Bye bye. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and give us a like if you've enjoyed our content. You can follow us on X, Facebook, Instagram, and Threads. We also have a private Discord server for some laid-back gaming chat, and if you're feeling generous, you can support us via coffee. All the relevant links are in the description below.